easy and let it me surrender to the full win. In, in recovery, we can then surrender in both letting go of our resurrection about recovery and being willing to try the different of living life. The process of surrender is extremely personal for each one of us. Only we, as individuals, know when we can eat. We stress the importance of surrender, for it is the very process that enables us to recover. When we surrender, we know in our hearts that we've had enough. We're tired of fighting. I believe comes over us as we finally realize that the struggle is over. No matter how hard we fight, we finally reach the point of surrender where we realize that we couldn't stop using drugs on our own. We are able to admit our powerlessness over our addiction. We gave up completely, even though we didn't know exactly what would happen. We gathered up our courage and admitted our powerlessness. We gave up the illusion that we could control our duty, thereby opening the door to recovery. Many of us look in the process of surrender when we identify ourselves and now meeting with our name and the world. I am an addict. Once we admit that we are addicts and that we cannot stop missing on our own, we are able to stay free on a daily basis with the help of others. Covering addicts in Narcotics Anonymous. The paradox of this admission is evident once we lost the first step. As long as we think we can control our deadlines, we are almost forced to continue. The means we admit were powerless. We never felt to heal again. This regret from having to use me the most profound gift we can receive, for it saves our lives. Our collective experience, we can find that we can accomplish whatever what we cannot do alone. It is necessary for us from other recovery addicts. As we attend meetings regularly, we can find great comfort in the experiences of those traveling this country with us. Coming to not has been described by many members as coming home. We find ourselves welcomed and accepted by other recovering addicts. We finally find a place where we belong. Though we are sure to be loved by the sharing we hear at meetings, we need to find a sponsor to help us in our recovery. We finish with the first step. A sponsor can share with us his or her own experience with respect. Listening to our sponsor experience and applying it to our own life is how we take advantage of one of the most beautiful and practical aspects of recovery. The therapeutic value of one and it Helping another. We hear in our meetings that I can, but we can. Actively working with a sponsor we feel on some first hand experience.
happiness from which we suffer this since we are working and living the first step. We learn that our affliction is being addressed in its complexity by this simple program. We have found a solution to our hopelessness. There is a deeply spiritual nature to our program of recovery. The first step of narcotics and illness will take us on a journey that will far exceed our expectations. Working and living the steps will lead us to a spiritual awakening. Step one is the beginning of this spiritual journey. To get started on this journey, we must become willing to surrender to this program and its principles. For our future features on our willingness to grow spiritually. We are starting a new way of life. One that offers great joy and happiness. However, recovery doesn't exempt us from pain. Living life on life terms combines moments of happiness with moments of sadness. Wonderful events are mixed with painful ones. We will experience a full range of feelings about the events in our lives. By honestly looking at what we have become in our addiction, we recognize the powerlessness and unmanageability of our lives. Moving beyond our reservations, we accept our addiction, surrender, and experience the hope that recovery offers. We realize that we can no longer go on as we have been. We are ready for a change. We are willing to try another way. With our willingness, we move on to step two. Step two. She. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves to restore us to sanity. Our surrender in the first step leaves us with a deep to believe that we can recover. This surrender makes it possible for us to be hope. By admitting our own powerlessness, we open our minds to an entirely new idea. The possibility of something quicker than ourselves might be powerful enough to relieve our obsession in this period. It is quite likely that, before coming to an age, we never believe in any power but our own willpower, and let that the last. They introduce us to a new understanding. We draw hope from this understanding and begin to comprehend what it means to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. We find additional hope by listening to other recovery energy. We can relate to what it may be and be hopes from that to come. We listen closely at meetings and become willing to apply what we think to our own life. As we begin to believe that there is hope for us, we also begin to trust the process of recovery. Our white cooked space. There is one thing more than anything else that will defeat us in our recovery. This is